Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. I got a strike while the editing iron is hot. There's no time to vlog, it's time to edit. Here we go. Okay, time for a run. How cold is it outside? It's a balmy 31 Fahrenheit, about zero Celsius. Let me tell you something. If running like that only burns 230 calories, the, the answer to not gaining weight is not exercise. <laughs> oh my God. Now, just a few weights. Ooh, ah, ah. So I've come to a true impasse with music. I just cannot, I cannot keep writing the same song over and over. And it's not even like those songs come easily to me. It's like I have to bash my head against a wall just to get them out. And I just sat here for 30 minutes, bashing my head, making the same melody I've written every single time. And I'm like, I can't do this anymore. So I'm going to the library. I'm getting music writing books. I'm going to learn how to write music. It just to like broaden my horizons at least. I don't care if this episode takes longer to make than usual. I have to get over this because this is the biggest hurdle by far for making these episodes and I can't do it anymore. It's just so painful. Every other part of the process is at least manageable. It doesn't have to be super easy, but oh, it's so frustrating. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. Okay, let's go to the library. Hopefully there's some answers in some of those books. <laughs> Man, I really, I just can't explain how frustrating and difficult writing music is for me sometimes. And I'm so sick, so sick of every single sound that is in the program Logic Pro 10. You could not possibly imagine how sick I am of all those sounds. <laughs> so, the solution there is, Number one, when you get some music writing books, try to learn more of the basics, fundamentals, see if I can learn some new interesting chords, try to figure out how chord progressions work. And step two, try to find some new, relatively cool sounding sounds that are still within our vibe and also relatively cheap. I don't wanna break the bank buying new sound libraries. And then hopefully add some freshness to the music process and hopefully make it a little less like stabbing in the dark and more like stabbing in a dimly lit room. I can handle that, as long as it's not pitch dark. So here's what I got. Music composition, music theory. Uh, I'm gonna decide which one of these to start on, but basically, I don't need like all the, oh, this is what jazz music is, this is what rock music is. I need the hardcore, this is what a chord progression is, this is why you would use this chord progression. If you've got this chord, you could do this with it and it would sound like this. If you got this chord, you could do this and you would sound like this. By the way, if you guys know of any books or teaching methods or videos or anything that would help me get that, please let me know. I know all the scales. I know how to play scales. I know how to do chord inversions. I just don't know anything beyond the most basics of the basics. I can read music like nobody's business and I can play music, no problem. That's not the issue. The issue is the real nitty gritty of like, you know? Like when you do stuff like this on the piano, not when you just do stuff like with two fingers. But tomorrow I'm gonna take one of those sessions where I would normally be writing music and instead, I'm going to act like learning music is my job at that moment. Like when I'm writing music, that is my job at that point. This time, learning music will be my job for that specific time frame. No, I can do that. It just takes focus and concentration. But anyways, for now, that is the end of the day. It's time to stop working and thinking. Thank you very much for watching. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow, but maybe not, because I'm gonna be focusing on this and I need lots of focus and brain power. Until then, I'll see you when I see you.
Let me tell you something. 